Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? In New York, I'm in Rock. Hiding in my socks. What is the deal? Beautiful people, it's your boy Ramon. Lifestyles to find. Let's take another look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. <laughs> it's people with these names, man. So my initial review is out there. If you guys have not seen that, you should go check that out. We did a bunch of coverage, a bunch of thoughts on the, uh, Samsung, a bunch of videos about the pros and the cons of the phone. But this is a, a few months after, or a few weeks after, I guess, whatever. I, I've been, I've had the phone for a while, and I have, I can't honestly say overall I've been enjoying it. And it has not been a bed of roses the entire time, but I still do think it is a dope phone. So. On my list, number one, let's talk about the updates. This was one of the one of the things I outlined in my review as a con for sure, because I've had this experience with Samsung where the new OS comes out. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the new yes, the new OS comes out, and you're just sort of like, oh man, that's dope. When can I get it? And then Samsung releases a new phone. The new phone has a new OS, and then you with the old phone, you get none of it, and you're just like, <laughs> what? What? So we haven't we haven't quite got to that scenario yet. Google did an announce the new Android O. No one's gotten that yet, uh, and that seems pretty dope. But um, Samsung has not released new hardware, so I expect that when I see the the new Note coming out, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be waiting to be upset. But so far, what I can say is I have received a grand total of four updates. Two of them were uh, two of them were stability features and tweaking and whatnot and they i have noticed the phone's a lot smoother uh speaking of smoother i'll be doing a video on how to optimize your galaxy s8 making it more pleasurable you should say and the other two updates were uh, i think they were actually the security updates that we get from google so it's it's interesting to see that they're actually doing diligence we're off to a good start here so i'm less worried about that uh more worrying is one of the the last update that came out actually sent my phone into a boot loop and i was super upset it just it just kept rebooting it would get hot to the touch and just keep restarting sometimes it wouldn't even get past the encryption pin at the beginning of the phone and then other times it would get past the encryption pin and just ask for the os so the phone was acting very weird now i could have uh i went to xda and they they had the updates available i could have side loaded it through abd but i just didn't feel like it i called i called t-mobile and had an i'm uh, sorry i called at&t and had a replacement sent out right away got it the next day uh, it sucked to be without my phone because i was actually traveling to chicago and i wanted to get some photography done on the phone um i'll also have that video out for you guys shortly photography with the s8 but you know a, a day i lost of productivity and i got the phone back and now everything's okay i on the new phone i have since did that same update and it seems to be working fine uh the second point is the battery life my god this this phone continues to exceed my expectations in the battery life arena i haven't had a phone with battery life this good since my 1520 uh, and I'm so happy about this. I can legitimately make it through an entire day without reaching for a charger. I generally take my phone off the charger about five o'clock in the morning, and I do not put it back on the charger to around 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. And usually when I'm about to put it back on the charger, it's at, I would say 10 to 12% battery life. Now, uh, I did some digging on XDA and I found a bunch of additional battery tweaks and packages to disable to help. I'm still testing. Uh, I'm still testing the results, but so far I've seen to have gotten at least another hour or two of on-screen time, which is insane. And I'm gonna do in the optimization video. I'm gonna explain how to do that as well. So you guys may want to check that out. Number three is I am really enjoying the water resistance, the waterproofing. Uh, we had a few rainy days and I had my phone in my hand, not worried about anything. That is, is so enjoyable. And of course, you guys know I like to enjoy my YouTube and my podcast in the shower, uh, straight from the can to the shower. There's no such, uh, no sweeter thing in life. I really do enjoy that. 
still loving that uh the camera the camera is a solid shooter and i still want to say my disclaimer listen i can get dope pictures out of anything it's just all about composition and patience right but there's a lot about the galaxy that i think makes it more accessible uh, just because it's such a capable camera i mean you have to you have to really work hard to get a bad image out of this camera you have to not know what you're doing and again i will be going over a, a video specifically or dedicated to the camera on this guy so look out for that and five uh this is probably the only negative that i have is the wear and tear um you see here on the old on the old phone it had really notable scratches on the front and that's from putting it face down on services which i've done with all my other phones but the gorilla glass here seems to be scratched very very easy uh i dropped it once or twice it's got some dings on the side and you see how those look uh but other than that i, I mean i'm still not putting it in a case fuck that i don't put phones in cases um i i was totally happy living with these scratches and dings because when the phone is on the display is on you don't see it it's only when it's off so didn't really bother me much but i'm happy to report that uh you know months months after the galaxy s8 is still going strong i'm still enjoying it and with the added tweaks that i'll show you in the performance video it's much better and then running running it currently how i have it now with uh with nova launcher and a bunch of different tweaks it, it's it's an enjoyable display uh it was it was far easier to get rid of the bloatware than it has been on any of the other phones the samsung phones at least and yeah i, I mean i can still recommend this phone I, I really can still recommend it like the video if you like it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and when you subscribe just do us a favor and hit that little notification bell next is a subscription that way you know when we have new videos live my name is ramon i'm out of here peace if i had to describe lifestyles to find i would say it is a dream come true uh, to have a platform where we can talk about the things that we love and we can share with people who also love the things we love the way we love and just have conversations that matter and go back and forth and grow as a community it's it's been a pleasure it's been a dream and, and i just want to thank everyone that's involved for rocking out with us